What's up guys, Manny here, and uh, well, I've decided to jump on the YouTube bandwagon. So, today I'm on my way to work, and later on we are going to be building a NAS slash HTPC with Unrain. Now, uh, a lot of you guys might be Linus Tech Tips fans, and you know that that dude has a hard on for Unraid, but it's actually a really cool piece of uh, software. It does a lot of stuff. I mean, stuff that I'm not even going to be taking advantage of, but um, it's it's really cool. I think uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. I haven't seen too many Unraid videos on YouTube, um, so I think I'm going to start doing um, similar to like what Linus does and what a lot of the other tech guys do. You know, screencasts, video casts. Um, mainly because, I mean, I don't think I can do a better job than those guys, but uh, there's just not, not enough content for things for niche things like Unraid and, you know, building your own uh, HTPC a certain way and, you know, to each their own. Everybody needs their own taste of uh, technology, so I figured I'd give my take. And, I mean, I don't have anything else to do other than go to work and make money, so why not? If I can make a little extra cash on the side, you never know. People might like my videos. Fuck, I mean, I'm kind of funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... What, um... I guess I'll give you guys a lowdown on the specs. Uh, maybe I'll keep this in, maybe I won't, I don't know. But, uh, I have a Silverstone um, NAS case. It's got eight uh, hot swap bays in the front. I forgot the number. I can, I'll can i show it to you later when I show you all the parts. Um, so we got that. We got two, uh... 240 gig solid states for the cache drives. Um, and I'll explain all this later on when I actually explain what the hell Unraid is. Um, so two cache drives. I got four uh, Western Digital Black one terabyte drives that uh, I haven't really used in a while. They've been in my computer, but I always... I, so I, I wanted to put Unraid on my main desktop, and then having, having your main OS as a virtual environment, not the smartest thing to do when you're an engineering major. I mean, maybe if, you know, you have your own home office and you're not doing a whole lot of work on it that you know that's if you lose it it's it's bad it's detrimental um but as an engineering major with all my different software projects and you know homeworks and things like that i had one little uh nightmare where last semester where um i built the thing and it was running fine and then uh i don't remember if i did something like to the configuration or what happened but i couldn't get the vm to boot anymore um, I think I was trying to like update Windows and change uh, some of the um, the parameters in Unraid for the for uh, like when you I'll show you later when you make a, an Unraid virtual machine you have all these different options for the hardware you want to allocate to it and I was trying to do something with the BIOS or something because um, there's two different BIOS options one of them is a little bit more stable than the other one because it's all virtual so. Um, but I did something to it, couldn't boot into the VM, couldn't get the VM to do shit after that. I had to buy like a, like a $25, or it was like $25 or $30 piece of recovery software to get all my data back, which it worked. I, I you know, I was, I've never been in that point where I needed to buy something or, you know, trust somebody else's software to, to get my files off of my drives because I never had issues recovering data, but somehow I really, I really fucked that one up and, uh, luckily I got everything back, but... After that, I was like, yeah, my main machine can't be a virtual one. What the fuck are you breaking for, dude? Get out of my way. Oh, my God. People in Connecticut suck at driving. Let's see if my engine warmed up yet. It's 26 degrees. So it's not that cold, but I like to let my engine get to temp before I start uh, spanking her a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we got all that going on. Um... I'll probably start the build today because all my parts are coming in today. Um, I got for the motherboard uh, DH uh, DH77. Uh, it's like an uh, Intel ITX generic cheap, you know, motherboard that I got on eBay. It was like I don't know, 75 bucks. Um, and then I got an uh, i7 2600. So it's kind of old, Sandy Bridge, but it's got Sandy Bridge has got more than enough horsepower for what that thing's going to be doing. Um, you know, it's, I'm not doing gaming. If, if any gaming is going to be done on this thing, it's going to be streamed from um, my main computer through NVIDIA's, uh, I forgot, I don't know what it's called. I've never used it, but um, their game stream service, I think it is, because I have a 980 Ti in that, so that'll be nice. Uh, let me uh, not 
die here. I wonder if the camera can pick up the engine sounds because the you know diesel engines are a little loud. Um, I think you know if I do start getting into the YouTube thing as a hobby, um, I'm not gonna just do computers. I'm gonna do like videos on my car. I do a lot of you know simple mods and shit to my car. Like I installed my own stereo. Um, I had a. Uh, you know, any major mechanical work, I don't really do. I could probably learn how to do it and figure it out because I've, you know, I do like my own brakes, I do my own oil. But anyways, I think I'm gonna, if I get into this as a hobby, I'll probably have a bunch of cool little videos coming out. Um, yeah. So, we will catch you guys later. And hopefully, all my parts will be here today on time. And I will have stuff to build a server with. See ya. Hey, what's up guys? Manny here and I'm back home and I finally got all my parts in and we're going to start the build today. So I'm going to show you guys some of the parts that I got. Um, sorry I'm recording this on my phone. I can't find the battery charger to my camera so I'm going to have to deal with the phone for today. So I got an Intel uh, H77 Mini ITX motherboard here. Um, this uh, apparently was brand new. It was sealed in the bag and it was listed as new so I guess I got lucky with that. Here's the... Um, cover that goes on the socket um, so just a cheap 877 motherboard wasn't trying to spend too much money on this build um, I'm running an i7 2600 not the 2600k because I don't need overclocking um, and also the K version does not have uh, virtualization support VT-D I think it is and I needed that for Unraid because this is uh, gonna be an Unraid server so that's cool um, but yeah, I wasn't trying to spend a whole lot of money on this build. That that chip's got more than enough power for uh, what I'm going to be doing with this. I got uh, 8 gigs of some G-Skill RAM here. Um, just, uh, I think it's 1333 megahertz. You know, just cheap value RAM. The cool thing about this, though, is that memory must be so cheap nowadays because there's no, there's no chips on the back. So this is a 4 gig DIMM. So these chips are pretty dense for uh, value RAM. Uh, I got my Silverstone uh, DS. What is it? DS. I got the box over here. A bunch of shit in it. DS 380. So I got that. Uh, it's uh, it's cool. It's a Mini ITX uh, NAS case. So it's got this front door here uh, that reveals eight hot swap bays, which are over there. Cause I had to take that out to mount the motherboard and everything else. Um, so that's cool. Eight hot swap bays. It's got a lock on it, which is nice. And you can actually lock the power button too, which I have it locked because this is going to be on all the time. Comes with uh, three 120 mil fans. So you don't have to buy any fans, which isn't sweet because I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money on this. I got two 240 gig um, Kronos Deluxe solid state drives. Um, those are going to be for the for the cache drives. And then I got this uh, Adaptech RAID card because this has an additional uh, four SATA ports. And this board uh, only has the four back there. So I'm going to have uh, six drives in here. So I needed a expansion card. Got a Noctua NH-L12. Low profile uh, cooler. Noctua is known, as everybody knows, for being nice and quiet make a good quality product uh it's my first noctua product so i'm hoping it goes well my uh, roommate actually has all noctua fans in his case and it's quiet as hell so i'm pretty excited about this it's gonna be a nice and quiet build uh, and the last piece well the last couple of pieces my power supply is not here yet i got a little uh sfx silverstone 450 watt uh, i think it's uh 80 plus bronze or something like that whatever nobody cares about power consumption nowadays do they <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's not here yet. I don't know why I was supposed to get two day shipping on it, but whatever. And the hard drives I have to take out of this guy. This is my main gaming rig. Um, I'll give you the lowdown on the specs. I can do a separate video later if you guys really want, but it's, uh, 4790K. It's dirty as hell, actually. I'm just noticing that. <laughs> I never, I don't really have time to clean it as often as I used to, so. But I got a 1,000 1, watt Silverstone. Power supply, you can see I really like Silverstone. They make good stuff. Um, custom sleeved, I did all that myself. It took ages. Uh, 980 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, 
Um, and there's a whole story about why I have that. We're not going to go into that. <laughs> but it's got 32 gigs of RAM. I know, I don't I don't need that much, but whatever. Um, and I got a triple one... Uh, yeah, triple 120 rad, and then a single 120 rad. So this thing's really, really cool uh, under load. I, honestly, it, it only I, it idles at about 22 degrees C, and I think when I'm gaming, it's like 30. So it's it runs really cool. Um, if you could see, th th this pissed me off because mayhem. I hate mayhem's. Like I'm never gonna use mayhem's ever again. This kind of looked cool for a little while. And it's this nice, you know, light blue that kind of matches the sleeving, this aqua blue, whatever. But if you look at the tubing, look at that shit. It stained the shit out of it, and that's their non-stained dye, which I knew was bullshit from the beginning, but I figured it wouldn't, you know, it would just take longer to stain, because uh, the coolant's supposed to be good for up to three years. So I was like, all right, well, maybe non-stain just means it won't stain for the lifetime of the coolant. Nope, fucking six months later, that stuff looks nasty, so... Um, I think eventually the next step for this build is going to be hardline tubing. So I'm going to take these drives out and uh, start putting things together and then I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. Alright, so I finally got my uh, camera charged so hopefully the quality is a little bit better. Um, I haven't used this camera for videos before so... We, um, I found out that uh, I kind of had a little problem with this damn cooler because uh, I didn't realize how big this was being a low profile cooler I figured you know it wouldn't be this big but um yeah it's pretty hefty and I originally had these brackets flipped the other way and as you can see there's no way that that would have worked with my um, SATA card so then I tried to flip them this way and it fits now because I'll show you what I did but I had let me get this on here all right that's how much clearance I have now you can see these pipes are slightly bent I had to just went, I mean they, they kind of bend a little bit when you install this anyways um, but I had to just bend them a little bit to get that clearance um, I might actually put like a piece of foam or something because um, I have like some foam backing that I might put all along the back of this card just so the metal doesn't touch it you know uh, from vibration or whatever but yeah we're making progress I had to take the motherboard in and out like three times because yeah it's uh, it's being annoying but we'll get it done I'll be back with another update soon so this isn't the most conventional thing in the world but my case actually came with uh, pieces of rubber for like dampening or something, I don't know. Um, but it actually works rather well for this. I got this, uh, it's got 3M backing on it already, so just stuck, cut it, stuck it on, and it should be good to go. Alright, finally got everything mounted in the case. With their little rubber piece and everything else. And now it's time for some thermal grease. Um, I've never used the Noctua stuff before. It looks like it's pretty good. It, uh, the consistency looks similar to, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it, but it's it's similar to a, another good thermal paste that I used to use. Um, I had some MX2. I don't know what I did with it, so it's a good thing this came with it, because uh, if not, I'd be kind of screwed right now. So we're going to give it a dab of uh, some thermal grease. A little pea size. Oh, that's coming out real stringy. There we go. Might be a little... Oh, you can't zoom in a bit? Oh, yeah, you can. Maybe a little excessive. That's probably too much, actually. But, whatever. It'll work. I don't I don't have time uh, going to a concert later, so I don't really have time to redo it. <laughs> but this should work fine. I'll monitor the temps. If it's too high, then I'll redo it. But we'll see. Catch you in a bit. Hey, guys. So I figured I'd give a final update for the time being. Uh, I gotta wait till Monday to get my power supply in um, before I can finish this. Uh, I don't have the board mounted right now because it's a lot easier to take out the four screws that hold the board in because I had to um, let me see if I can grab this without destroying it. 
but I had to connect all the uh, front panel I.O. and trust me it's a lot easier just taking the four screws to take this whole assembly out rather than dealing with this damn CPU cooler but um <clears throat> yeah so this will be on hold for a little bit gotta get my power supply on Monday and then I also gotta get a uh, three-way uh, fan splitter because this only this board only has two fan headers um, I got these there's two fans here actually oh, I don't know if you can see that one but I got those two on the CPU header and then I'm just gonna have all these on the system header so until I get that stuff in um, that's pretty much it catch you guys later